Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learning Web Method. Today we are going to see batch insert and update SQL adapter services in web methods. And we will also see how to use transaction services from WM art package. So basically batch insert and update used to group couple of related transactions into a single batch. Commit if all the statements are valid and rollback if any of the statement get error. Batch insert and update uses local transaction connection type. We will be using our previously created JDBC adapter, so we'll have to change its type from no transaction to local transaction. So go to your browser, click on adapters, then JDBC adapter. Before editing the adapter, we have to disable it. So click on yes, now edit, then we have to change our type to local transaction and save the changes and enable it again. Go to your browser. Let's create our survey adapter service called insert all employees. Click next, select JDBC adapter, select connection name, and then select batch insert SQL. From table, we'll select our table employee. Now go to insert tab, select the columns in which we have to insert the data. Now rest will keep it same. Go to batch result. Let's say batch result is batch result. Now save this. Let's test this whether it's working fine or not. Run as service. Click on this to add more employees. click OK. Now here we can see that batch result is one. That means this is inserted successfully. So now let's verify. Go to our employee table, right click. And here we can see our result is populated in our table. Now we'll see batch update. So the process is same for the batch update as well. Right click adapter service, let's say update all employees next next select a batch update SQL and finish select table employee from here and now whatever the field we have to update will select here let's say we want to update email ID on the basis of employee ID we will update email id of the employee now click here as well to select the integer let's say the input field name is employee id let's call it batch result and save it now let's test our update all employee adapter service right click go let's say two so we will be changing for wiki and raj that means three and four employee ID. Click OK. Now here we can see the result is one. So that means it is successfully executed. Now let's verify. Here we can see the email ID for Vicky and Raj has been changed. So this way we can use batch update adapter service. Now let's consider a scenario where we have to implement a survey which inserts all the employees in batch but if any of the statement fails then we have to roll back the complete transaction so for that for such type of scenarios we will have to start commit and roll back the transaction manually so we'll see how we can do that let's create a new flow service called insert all employees we'll copy the input and output from our adapter service let's say employees output will keep it same add try catch now to start the transaction we we will have to use wm art package services so we will be using start transaction we'll give name as insert
and then we'll call our adapter service and on successful transaction we have to commit the transaction so for that purpose we'll using commit transaction service we'll give name as same and let's catch the error first in catch block so, sorry no, it's okay and then we'll roll back the transaction let's debug log as well let's map the error to the message and now we'll have to roll back the transaction if it fails then we'll copy the same transaction name oh we forgot to map the input so we'll do that quickly now let's test our service so first we'll see the successful scenario we'll insert two records so here we can see that batch result is one so that means that this is successfully inserted we'll verify in our table and here we can see that array and joe has been inserted successfully now we'll see the failure scenario so for that purpose what we'll do so we'll again insert the two records but uh, one with a failure so for that purpose let's say we'll put nine here and put empty here because this field in a database cannot be null so now we'll see so here we can see the transaction has been rolled back uh, with the error message this cannot insert none value in column employee id so now that means none of the record has been inserted in the database table so let's verify quickly so here you can see that jitin and kk has not been inserted so that means our code is working fine and i hope you got the point how to use the batch insert and update sql adapter services and also how to use start transaction commit transaction and rollback transaction from wmr package so if you have any doubt and query so please do let me know in a comment section if you like the video then please do like share and subscribe thank you